Fifty years ago, a thousand volunteers, many of them college students, poured into Mississippi to launch Freedom Summer, a campaign to register black voters. Today, voter registration seems like a pretty simple proposition. But in Mississippi in 1964, African Americans seeking to register to vote did so at the risk of their jobs, their homes, and their lives. Much of what I know about Freedom Summer, I learned from my godmother, Claudia House Morcom. Like many Detroiters, Claudia's family was from Mississippi, and when the National Lawyers Guild asked for volunteers to provide legal assistance, she signed up. When asked how she summoned the courage to stay in Mississippi despite the danger, Claudia always talked about the Mississippi natives who literally put their lives on the line. Women like Fannie Lou Hamer, who went to jail, withstood beatings, and lost her job as a plantation timekeeper for registering to vote. Hamer was a leader of the Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party that organized and challenged the segregated white Mississippi Democratic Party and demanded that the Democratic National Convention seat them. When officials offered the Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party only two seats, she told them, we didn't come all this way for no two seats. All of us want a seat. While Hamer didn't prevail that year, in 1965, the Voting Rights Act passed, making it possible for the federal government to protect the rights of black voters. Freedom Summer needs to be more than just an anniversary celebration. Voting rights are being threatened as never before. Fifty years later, we need a new Freedom Summer.